Dacre Montgomery is one of the people you should definitely be following. There's so much happening in his life and it may be hard to keep up, but Riveted has got you covered. Here's a look back at his journey and his upcoming events. Before we get any further, let's first answer the question that so many people are getting wrong. How is his first name actually pronounced? Dacre has had to explain the pronunciation of his name before because Americans say it in a different way to Australian and British people. A lot of people say Dacre. In segment for the GQ video series Actually Me, Dacre Montgomery goes undercover to respond to questions online. During a session, he answers the question we've all been wanting to ask. How the heck do you pronounce your first name? Point of discussion amongst his fans, one user hilariously tweeted, Is Dacre Montgomery's name pronounced like Dacre? The actor set the record straight, saying, So, Dacre is just acre, like five acres to the next farm, right? A unit of measurement, acre. So the name is basically acre with a D at the beginning. The beginning. Dacre Montgomery was born in Perth, Western Australia to Canadian mother Judith Barrett Leonard and New Zealander father Scott Montgomery Harvey. According to his IMDb page, Montgomery is descended from Charles II of England, who was King of England, Scotland, and Ireland from 1660 to 1685, and King of Scotland from 1649 to 1651. This descent is through Charles's daughter, Anne Leonard, Countess of Sussex. Cool, right? Montgomery attended Mount Lawley Senior High School in his hometown, and he began performing on screen and in theater at the age of nine. Let's just say that Dacre was born to be a superstar, and even his friends knew this from a young age. When he was in year 12, his fellow students voted for him to be the most likely student to become a Hollywood star in the annual yearbook. Montgomery continued his studies in the dramatic arts throughout his secondary schooling and completed his acting degree at WAAPA at Edith Cowan University in 2015. His first role came when he appeared in Bertrand the Terrible as Fred in 2010. In 2011, he appeared in a TV pilot called Family Tree. Montgomery also starred as Jason Scott, leader of the Power Rangers in the Power Rangers feature film reboot. Then he appeared in the sequel to the Australian comedy A Few Best Men titled A Few Less Men. Dacre has also provided his skills and good looks in several music videos. In 2015, Montgomery appeared in the music video for Old Souls by the Australian deathcore band Make Them Suffer, directed by Jason Ashragian. He also appeared in Australian music duo Angus and Julia Stone's music video for their song Chateau. However, Dacre's big break came when he was cast in Stranger Things as Billy. The story about how he landed that role is actually pretty funny. Montgomery auditioned for the part of the Hawkins newcomer by dancing around to Duran Duran's Hungry Like the Wolf. He made a little short film with an opening score and title credits, and he read both of the scenes he was given, Then he danced in a G-string to the song. Montgomery was aware that his audition could have gone in a totally different direction when he went off the grain, but he was willing to take the chance, and the casting team loved it. Since his portrayal of Billy on Stranger Things, Dacre Montgomery has gone on and landed other impressive roles. On November 6, 2017, Montgomery joined the true history of the Kelly Gang, based on the novel of the same name, alongside Russell Crowe and Nicholas Holt. And filming began in 2018. Montgomery is also a poet and released his very own podcast titled DKMH. The podcast is a collection of the actor's poems set to artists such as Julia Stone and Matt Lang. As the celeb describes on the podcast page, beat poetry is set to music. There are five core human drives that influence human behavior. To acquire, to bond, to learn, to defend, to feel. This podcast is a depiction of what drives me and how my experiences have shaped who I am. Struggling with mental health. The transition from growing up in Perth, Australia to finding his place in the entertainment industry was not always an easy feat. In response to his nature to act out and bully the younger kids in Stranger Things, Montgomery channeled experiences from his younger days. In a candid interview, he explained the process of finding himself did not happen while he was at the age of the Stranger Things crew, but later on. He said, School was not everything, and I didn't find who I was, and that's okay, and I sort of found it when I left, and sort of got to pursue the dream I had constantly wanted to pursue since primary school and high school. Dacre Montgomery has revealed in various interviews that he has battled personal struggles since he was a preteen. In a video for the Child Mind Institute, the actor opened up about his history, saying, I've struggled with anxiety since I was 12 years old. Anxiety is a very real issue. I also didn't feel like I had a skill set to combat my mental health issues. I think it's so important for everybody to know that you can get through it. Being bullied as a youth probably didn't help Dacre's anxiety. Speaking to Lad Bible, the star shared a childhood story that stuck with him, saying, I just remember a kid in school getting really upset with me about something I said in passing. With all their mates, they took me to the back of the school. It was really good for me to go to that lens of the bully and go, Jesus, they were really insecure about themselves. Fortunately, Dacre Montgomery used his experiences with mental health to pave his way in Hollywood. Coming back to Stranger Things. As fans are well aware, Billy sacrificed himself on Stranger Things. Throughout the show, Billy was a complex character. He was mysterious with the tendency to lash out at everyone he encountered, but as the series progresses, fans learn that there are intricate layers to Billy that extend past his good looks. 
picture that Montgomery posted on social media got fans excited about the possible return of Montgomery in Stranger Things Season 4 as Billy. At the end of Stranger Things Season 3, Billy was killed by the Mind Flare at the Starcourt Mall after Eleven reminded Billy about his mother. After that scene, we all assumed Billy would not be returning for the new season, and that would be the last we'd see of Billy. The actor shared the photo taken from the set and reportedly tagged one of the makeup artists from the series. In the photo, Montgomery is wearing a white tank top with fake blood splattered on the shoulder. From the looks of it, he's in hair and makeup getting prepped ahead to the set. Fans quickly reacted when they noticed the similarities to his look to Billy's due to his messy hair, shirt, necklace, and mustache. Well, we wouldn't be surprised if we see new scenes with Dacre Montgomery in Stranger Things Season 4. Even if he won't actually be alive in Season 4, it's possible that Billy could appear in some flashbacks. The next Wolverine? Montgomery's name has been thrown around as the next actor to take on the role of Wolverine after the images were first posted on the Boss Logic Twitter account in 2018. Rumors about Montgomery's involvement intensified after Disney acquired the rights to the Marvel Fox properties back in 2019, with plans to incorporate the X-Men in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Dacre Montgomery fueled rumors that he will step into the role of Wolverine in a recent post that has since been deleted. While no official announcement has been made about Wolverine, Hugh Jackman recently doubled down on the fact that he's done playing the character on the silver screen, saying, It's kind of like, you're on your way home, and your friend rings you and goes, Oh dude, a new DJ just came on and the music is awesome, are you going to come back? And you say, sounds good, but nah, they're fine with someone else. Jackman portrayed Wolverine across 17 years and 10 movies, last appearing in a cameo in 2018's Deadpool 2. We think that Dacre is actually a perfect fit to fill the shoes. Well, how about you? What do you think? Dacre is the Corinthian. The Sandman series was given an 11-episode order from Warner Brothers and Netflix. Neil Gaiman is set to executive produce the series with David S. Goyer and writer-showrunner Alan Heinberg. Production on the series was delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, which luckily gave the creative team time to perfect the scripts. It was announced that the series had cast far from the matting crowd's Tom Sturridge in the titular role. Sturridge's dream will appear alongside a number of powerful beings called The Endless, including Destiny, Death, Dream, Destruction, Desire, Despair, and Delirium. According to Netflix, The Sandman will be a rich blend of modern myth and dark fantasy in which contemporary fiction, historical drama, and legend are seamlessly interwoven. The Sandman follows the people and places affected by Morpheus, the Dream King, as he mends the cosmic and human mistakes he's made during his vast existence. Word on the street is that they are seeking to cast Dacre Montgomery as the Corinthian. Debuting in The Sandman No. 10 in 1989, The Corinthian was created by Neil Gaiman and Mike Dringenberg. A nightmare created by Dream, the character goes rogue and escapes the dreaming and becomes a serial killer in the real world. The character's most notable feature is that where his eyes should be are two rows of jagged teeth. He has laid a villainous role in the comics, but has at times served as an ally for Dream of the Endless. The other name being thrown around for the role of the Corinthian is Liam Hemsworth. Liam Hemsworth has most recently starred in Arkansas and is best known for playing Gail Hawthorne in The Hunger Games. Elvis Presley Biopic The Elvis Presley Biopic project was first announced in April 2014 when Baz Luhrmann entered negotiations to direct the film, with Kelly Marcel writing the script. Principal photography began on January 28, 2020 in Australia, but in March, production was halted when Tom Hanks and his wife Rita Wilson tested positive for COVID-19 during the pandemic. Well, the team is back and they are ready to put on a great show. In the biopic, Dacre will take one of the roles of Steve Binder, the producer and director of Elvis Presley's 68 comeback special in the upcoming film. Other actors announced for the project are Richard Roxburgh as Elvis's dad, Vernon Presley, Helen Thompson as his mom, Gladys Presley, and David Wenham as Hank Snow, the country star who persuaded Nashville's Grand Old Opry to let Elvis perform, before signing him to a management contract with Colonel Tom Parker. The role of Gladys was initially said to belong to Maggie Gyllenhaal, but she reportedly left the project after filming was delayed due to the coronavirus pandemic. Film bosses initially announced that filming would begin in early 2020, with a release date scheduled for October 21st, 2020. However, the film is now set for a November 2021 release. While talking about what is happening in Dacre's life, we cannot fail to mention his love life. Dacre has been in a serious relationship for quite a while with the same woman. Liv Pollock is the lucky lady and she and her man perhaps set themselves up for success because of their sweet connection. The two met because they ran in the same professional circles in Australia. The duo took their love coastal around the time Montgomery landed his role in Stranger Things, providing them with both huge milestones both professionally and personally. Liv even left Australia and traveled with Dacre to Atlanta, where he was filming the show, and they bought their first house together. The couple revealed via Elite Daily they spent lots of time going to homeware stores, shopping because they are both fans of designing, and adding their own personal touches to their home. 
We'll definitely be keeping a closer eye on Dacre, so make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification to stay up to date on your favorite celebrities. This has been Riveted.